Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my accepted CalArts portfolio slash application. So I am really happy that I'm able to do this because I am really happy that I got accepted. Um, if you watch my previous videos, you've known that CalArts has been one of my top schools and a school that I really wanted to go to since I was like, 15 so i'm really really happy to be able to achieve that goal so yeah this video will be touching on my accepted portfolio and the other requirements to submit my application and if you would like my full application so my accepted portfolio my artist statement my video introduction and um my sketchbook which you can find also on YouTube, uh, in detail going through everything and also sharing all the tips that I have accumulated over the past two years taking the extended studies courses from the Colors Professor Easton, you can check out my link down below. I tried to make that document as useful as possible, so your support would mean a lot to me, so please check it out. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing the pieces in my portfolio. So the first piece I have here is called Hello, Hello, and it is a digital piece, and it is basically just me introducing myself. So from this, they can see who I am as a person, and if they actually read the notes, they will know a lot about me, and I can show that I'm not just a visual artist, but that I'm also a musician and a dancer, because I know Colors really likes the interdisciplinary arts, so I think that will also set me apart from the other applicants, so yeah. Okay, so the next piece I have here is called Warriors Assemble, and due to YouTube, I'm going to be kind of centering it, so it's basically a figure drawing, and this just shows my understanding of skeletal anatomy and also that I'm able to draw um, figures really well. So that was what I was going for. The third piece is called Powerful and it is a figure drawn directly in pen. Uh, Colors really, really loves us to draw directly in pen to show that we have line confidence. So that is really important is to train yourself to have line confidence a lot by really practicing only in pen and that's how I was able to do it. So my next piece is called Hula Hoop and it is just a model posing with a hula hoop. They really really like seeing figures so I really recommend putting a lot of those in and I really like this piece even though it's not done directly in pen because I just feel like I captured her emotions as well and i just i just like it okay so that's why i put it in next piece is called figures 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 and it is a compilation of a lot of the same model another thing that one of my college professors said is that they really like seeing the same figure or object or character being drawn over and over again so this is why i did this i also like the layout of this piece as well as the watercolor and i just show that I can draw more directly in pen because they really like that. Like, they really, really like that. Okay, the piece after is called A Day With David. So the model's name is called David and I basically just drew more figures. The piece after that is called A Day With Roseanne because the model was called Roseanne. And basically I just drew more figures directly in pen and I feel like you don't have to only put one figure per like piece per slide you can put multiple like what you saw in these three slides and that also shows that you can do movement and being able to draw the same character over and over again the next piece is called at the studio so this one's a digital piece and i basically did this to show that i was actually drawing from a studio and not from online because some of the pieces i might have used online sources mainly because covid closed all the models but i was also just not wanting to leave the house so the next piece is called two figures are better than one and it was basically an assignment i did for one of the previous college extended studies courses that i've attended so i did this one directly in pen and then i colored it digitally. The next piece is called the game start and it is just an observational drawing while my friend was playing Super Smash Bros. And this one is to show that I can draw not only from models but from day to day life and a small tip is that you can photoshop it a bit and they won't notice so like just like tweak a bit if it looks off because I may or may not have done that 
but you know. Okay, so the next piece is another observational one. This one's really, really long, and this one's called uh, in art class. Very boring, but you know, we were in art class, so I just drew people around me, and this is also did directly in pen because of the reasons I said earlier, and it's to show that I can draw the life around me. And it can also show that I take visual arts class in school, so. The next piece is called Wolf. So I was drawing for my colored sketchbook and then this dog just started barking at me while I was just drawing like the life around me and I was just, I was not gonna lie, a bit upset. Like, why are you barking at me? I've done nothing wrong. It's a bit rude, you know, but you know, it's okay. Uh, it became a funny experience and it became a portfolio piece that made me get accepted from the school. So, I mean, who's laughing now? Mr. Dog or Mrs. Dog? Next is called Looking Back and this piece is kind of like a transition to the next few pieces which is more about my Hong Kong culture and urban sketching in Hong Kong. So this one was done in Tang Chung Ling Ancestry Hall. And I basically just wanted to showcase, although people know Hong Kong to be this really big economic city, and you know like all the skyscrapers and like central but people especially tourists or foreigners don't see stuff in like for example new territories where there's like a lot of local life and a lot of local culture which is talked about way less so i just want to showcase that and then my next piece is my grandma because i love my grandma and i wanted to include her in my portfolio and it's to also show that i can do more observational drawings directly in pen the next piece is called Fish Tank and it's a reportage I did in my dad's friend's fish shop and I just sat there for like god knows how long just drawing. Now, the next piece I have is called The Noodle Shop and I was just drawing while my dad was eating noodles. The funny story, well, I was originally waiting for him, right? But like he ended up waiting for me for like an hour more because I was just finishing the drawing. <laughs> so oops. The next piece is called Human Sheep. Itty, so it's like humanity, but since it's sheep, so it's like sheep pity question mark. You know, I really like making puns and jokes, so that's why a lot of these titles are like funny because I'm funny. That's what I like to think. Yes. This piece was also in my color sketchbook, although they don't recommend you putting the same pieces in your sketchbook in the portfolio. I had like 80 pages in my sketchbook and I wanted to highlight a few that I really really liked, like the dog one that I mentioned earlier and then this one. And then I colored this one digitally as well and added some highlights. And basically it's about how my mom would often tell me when I was young when we were taking the MTR, like to look around and see that everyone's on their phones and i just wanted to capture that because sheep represents like conformity and stuff so yeah cool idea lit the next piece is called lights camera and action so this piece was a reportage that i did when i was waiting for the main cast to finish all their interviews because i was part of the show like i was an illustrator and i also had a small role in the show where i was a dancer so um while premiere waiting for the people i was just drawing and I think it turned out really well. And this piece was mainly to show that I was part of the show because there's no activity resume for call arts, so. The next piece is called Is That Us? And it is a, a animal study. Colors really like seeing skeletal studies because that shows that you have a strong understanding of anatomy. So that's what I did. But I chose like a more comedic approach for this because it's like penguins not knowing that that's how they look like and they're kind of like in a museum exhibit. So I thought it was pretty funny merging technical aspects with creative aspects. And I really recommend you guys doing this too is to not even though it might say like observational drawing try to spin it into a more creative manner too to showcase you have creativity the next piece i have is called cat so it is basically a really really long cat fused with japanese aspects like the kimono and also just um the really long wavy tail i don't know <laughs> so i made this during one of the portfolio development workshops at color arts and i really liked it and i think my teacher also really liked it 
so I put it in. Next is another assignment I had for the portfolio development workshop and it was a self-portrait character so I drew myself but like really exaggerated proportions and made it really cute and also made it come up with a really funny backstory and also like the small drawings on the left showcase her personality like how she's scared of butterflies and how she rarely cuts her bangs and how she gets pissed if you don't stand still while drawing this is a call out like if I'm drawing you stop moving it's really hard for me just stop like why are you making my life so difficult but yeah that's that next is a storyboard so i continue to develop with the same characters above because showing that you have this character and you really develop it shows that will make the admissions officers or just viewers know more about your character so this one is about v she's trying to listen to music while she's drawing but her earphones are really really tangled but while she was detangling her earphones which she fails in she actually came up with a better idea while drawing so i thought that was a pretty cute idea and it was also an assignment from one of the portfolio development workshops that i did y'all i've been talking for so long <coughs> water break so the next piece is called Tieguanyin and in Cantonese is Tikunyam which is a type of tea and this is I mainly put this mainly to show another character design and this one which has a lot of the culture aspects of Hong Kong to show more of my Hong Kong culture speaking about Hong Kong my next piece kind of showcases my visual development abilities and just setting the scene and I just really really like this drawing like it's really melancholic but it also looks really nice especially like the lighting and the colors I just really like this piece and it speaks a lot about my own cultural identity my next piece is called last petal so this is inspired by the saying does she love me does she love me not while you like tear the petals of the flower and then I think about it that's like plant abuse <laughs> anyways um i put this in because i wanted to showcase i had really creative ideas because i don't think people just paint on mirrors and stick it to their toilets so that's what i did and this piece basically symbolizes my self-hatred and self-doubt and also like how i was never satisfied with myself and like all those beauty standards i have for myself which was why i didn't really show my face until um the end of last year even though i had a youtube channel for like six years now so that's why i put this in my final artwork my final piece in my portfolio was an animation and it's called count to ten and it basically talks about anxiety and even though this piece doesn't really showcase my animation abilities and i did this in like two days or like one day but it was basically to show that i'm able to show emotion through my animation pieces and my works in general and i just wanted my portfolio to end on a very emotional note so i would be remembered more and that's why i put it in and also i just think mental health is important which is why i included it in. So from what I know, the Call Arts portfolio, they really, really look at your observational drawing. I think I was attending one of the webinars and the person said that we're not going to teach you how to draw, but we're going to teach you how to make films and animate. So that's why your drawing skill has to be absolutely amazing before you even get in the school. Prior to submitting to Call Arts, I really recommend people who want to go to the school attend their extended study courses, no matter if it's the PDW or the any intensive or their discovery animation course I just feel like from there you can sh you can demonstrate that you have shown interest in the school and that there are a lot of things that the teacher said that will help you make your portfolio the best that it is so please keep that in mind so there are four major components of the CalArts application number one is the online application and in the online application you have to submit two letters of recommendation one has to be artistic so i asked my visual arts teacher for that and my other one i chose an academic letter which is written by my English teacher because they both know me really really well and then the second part of the online application is to submit your transcripts so what I know that 
they don't really look at grades but you should still like pass and at least attend those courses and then the second part is the artist statement so you basically write an essay type thing where you t talk about your artistic goals and what makes you as an artist and just you know all those artist things and from there for me i personally talked about um how i was inspired by all these animations growing up as well as talking about how youtube has made me a lot better of an artist and how that really inspired me and that is also why i would like to inspire you guys shout out to saku sprouts so that is what i talked about in my artist statement if you would like to read my artist statement it is in my gumroad portfolio so you can check it out again self promo again <laughs> yeah so and then the third thing is the online portfolio in the online portfolio there are two components so the first component is a minimum of 15 observational works and this part is really important if your figs aren't good enough they might not even look at the rest of your application so please try your best for this part and then the second part of the online application is your creative works so from there i put storyboards paintings character designs animations etc just anything that you would like to showcase your creativity side in the online portfolio you also had to submit a video introduction and you just basically introduce yourself as an artist and also talk about one artistic practice that has shaped you as an artist so i talked about reading the book drawing on the right side of the brain which i do have a video on so that's what i did and then the fourth part i basically from all these components or just my whole application in general the main goal i was look going for is to showcase myself my personality and how my life is in the best of my ability so they really really know me as a person and not just another applicant number so that's what i'd like to do and that's also what i think how i got in the school so yeah and then the final fourth part is the card sketchbook i have a video talking about my sketchbook if you like to see that and for that they mainly look at observational work and a good ratio between observational and creativity is about like maybe 20 to 30 percent creative and the rest is all observational so 70 to 80 percent which is a lot so please focus on observational drawing because that is what calories likes to see yes so that is all the pieces for my portfolio for cal arts i am honestly very shook that i got accepted and i'm really really grateful and if any other cal arts 2026 peeps are watching this i am very excited to meet you guys and let's be friends i feel like through your portfolio you should be telling a story about yourself so for me it's showcasing all the things that i'm passionate about and introducing me as an artist and also through the pieces the admission officers should be able to see how you work and your thinking process so really really showcase that in your pieces so that's it for this video it was very very long i've been talking for so long i've been filming two other videos before this so <clears throat> yeah that's it for this video i hope you guys found this video helpful once again if you would like to see more tips and a more in-depth explanation about each work my gum road is in the link in the description and your support would really really mean a lot so thank you so much for watching this video i have other videos i have on college apps in general and subscribe because I'm probably going to be talking about my college endeavors in a few months. And also, I just post a lot of art-related stuff. Yeah! Okay, thank you so much for watching. And see you in the next video. Bye!